Draymond, as someone that, that plays defense the way you do, what do you respect or admire about the way Boston defends? Um, you, you, you respect and admire that, that everyone is defending. Um, you know, there's not a guy who comes on the floor that isn't given 110% on that side of the ball. And you have to, um, you know, give a lot of respect to, to Ime. Uh, that's, you know, that's not a much different squad than we've seen the past few years, uh, or at least two years or three since Kyrie left. It's not a much different team, yet – you know, more has been required of them, and they've answered that bell. And so you have to give a lot of credit to him. You have to give a lot of credit to Marcus Smart, who is their leader on that side of the ball. Um, but I think, you know, in, in order to have everyone come in and play, there has to be some leadership there that's holding that all together, that's holding somebody responsible. And to me, I, you know, I think that's Marcus Smart. And I think, you know, that, that plays a huge role in it. But I, I, I appreciate that more than anything. Second row on your left. Hey, Jim, I'm Bobby Manning. To that mar point on Marcus Smart, Steve kind of compared you to. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to compare you and him, but just what do you what do you think he does that you you know you do as a player too that makes you two two of the most uh, dominant defenders in the league here? I think he really thinks the game. You know, you you can see it uh, just the way he plays. He, you know, the way he's teaching guys, the way he's commanding attention in huddles, and you know. Going through the X's and O's and huddles, like you see it all. Um, I think he does a great job of that. Uh, Marcus Smart, I think, and I've been speaking on this a lot, I think people tend to forget uh, Marcus Smart's number one, his number one attribute or positive on him coming out of the draft was his leadership and that he's a winner and a true point guard. And the qualities that he has, the quali especially on that side of the ball, are those of a leader. Um, are those, when you see him with the X's and O's and teaching, are those of a point guard. And so, um, you know, I think he's continued to grow into his leadership. Um, I think, you know, there were times earlier in his career where most people wouldn't know how to handle it. And so then you end up getting a bad rap. And it's like, oh, this guy's – doing too much of this, he's doing too much of that. He's continued to grow into the leader that he's become. And it's been, it's been really good to watch.